Hi and welcome to this video series. We're talking about one of the new features of Centrify Infrastructure Services 2007.3 and this is support for Container Linux. And uh, typically when you're accessing Container Linux, especially if you launch it in AWS, most likely you're going to be using a shared account. So here I'm going to use the core account. Um, this immediately uh, brings out about a little bit of trouble, right? Because you're using a shared account, therefore you're not establishing um, accountability. We're going to cover all that, but um, Container Linux brought out about a lot of uh, challenges for engineering group. One of it is that it's basically a stripped down OS. It doesn't have a package manager. Uh, the operating system is mounted under the uh, read-only USR portion. So what Centrify did was um, we actually created a uh, you know a set of uh, packages and uh, dedicated install.sh just to do the installation in uh, Container Linux. So uh, typically you would do the installation just by running install.sh or by using your automation because install.sh not only can run in interactive mode but it also can run in uh, a scripted mode, right? So uh, this actually makes uh, the life of DevOps engineers much easier. What has changed, right? So some of the things that have changed is right away is that when, when you uh, run and run one of the commands, uh, typically the path is not set, so you have to change it. But the location of, of things now, instead of uh, having everything under USR share, uh, Centrify, uh, now things have moved to the opt file system. So if you do an ls over opt uh, centrify, uh, you will notice that um, this is where our binaries are now located for this platform. Um, there are some changes because of uh, the nature of the operating system, most notably because it doesn't have a package manager. Notice that we have a different installation. The other one is it doesn't come with Perl, so many of the utilities uh, won't be usable. And uh, the operating system is not compiled with uh, the audit D daemon. So that's going to bring uh, about some more capabilities that are not available, like uh, installation by way of deployment manager, express mode, and some of the uh, monitoring service capabilities, but you enjoy uh, all of the nice uh, features that Centrify brings to the table when it comes to strong access controls. I'm going to discuss that in the next video.